This is the video of how I painted the side skirts for my 2018 Subaru Impreza with only rattle cans. Do not sand it. Don't use sandpaper. This is insane. This feels like I'm shooting a movie. You can see the shine. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Yes, I know this is my old camera and I did upgrade my camera, but I'm not quite ready for it. I will be showing you some footage later in the video. We'll get to that. But I started filming this video before I actually got the camera, so I finished it with this camera. This is the video of how I painted the side skirts for my 2018 Subaru Impreza with only rattle cans. So after waiting a few weeks, the side skirts came in. I was super happy and I jumped right into doing exactly what you're not supposed to do. So I just unboxed the side skirts. Check this out. Since the side skirts are brand new, I don't really have to sand out any imperfections, but I do want to give it a slight oh. sand just so that the paint and the primer I don't even want to watch this because better. it just so brings up bad memories. Sandpaper. <laughs> I'm going to give the side skirts a quick sand and rinse, and then we'll go to the paint booth. Don't do it. Oh. Oh. Not only did I make the mistake of sanding a brand new plastic piece, but then after that, I went and sprayed it with a two-in-one primer and paint six times. And that left me with this result. The whole thing looked like crap. I didn't clean it, I didn't rinse it, I didn't spray it with adhesion promoter, I didn't use a special primer and a special paint. I did everything wrong. But today, after doing extensive research, we're ready to do it the right way. So this video is for people who have brand new plastic factory parts, or if you just want to paint your plastic parts, you'll still learn from this video as well. So I have my list right here of things to do. Before we jump into it, let's go over the materials you're going to need. If I do everything correctly, take my time, have patience, I will end up being a happy man with no beard. Okay, <laughs> that's better. So, the first thing on the list is to clean the parts with soap and water. Let's take the pieces outside and let's get started on that. Oh yeah, I forgot to rate the difficulty of this job. If you do everything correct, I would say this is an easy job. I would say it lands on the easy level of difficulty, right in that green spot. So I have my soap and water solution, I have my two side skirt, and I'm going to use my dish sponge to give it the initial soap and water clean. So right here, you can actually see the state of the side skirts. So after I messed up and I sanded them and I painted them and they looked like this, I had to retrace my steps. So I wet sanded with 800, with 1000, with 1200, and it got it nice and smooth. And that's what they looked like afterwards. No, they don't look new at all, but they were in a state where I could start fresh again. And that's what I did. Just finished the first step, which was to clean with soap and water. Let's cross that off our list. The next step we need to take is to scuff the side skirts. To do the actual scuffing, I have a gray scuff pad, ultra fine scuff pad. I picked it up at Pet Boys, you can get it at AutoZone or O'Reilly's. From what I've read, if you have brand new plastic, do not sand it. Don't use sandpaper. Use one of these scuff pads, ultra fine. This will get the job done. There's still a little liquid on my side skirts from the soap and water and that's fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and start scuffing. The side skirts are scuffed. These things are ready to go. Nice and smooth, no edges. But here, check this out. This is why the next step is so important. Look at all that stuff on the actual scuff pad. We need to spray it with the greaser and get all that off. But first, let's check in on our checklist. Scuffing is done. 
Now we need to rinse the side skirts. Okay, rinsing done. Next step, degrease. The degreaser that I'm going to use is called Purple Power. You can use any degreaser, like Simple Green or Check under your sink. You probably have a degreaser in the house. We didn't, so I went and picked up some purple power. So I degreased them, I rinsed them off, and now it's time to use the tack cloth. I have never used one of these, but they serve a great purpose. What these are for is to wipe off the side skirts. They'll remove any dust particles or paper towel particles, so these are crucial. Also, one more step that you guys can take if you'd like is to wipe the side skirts down or your bumper or whatever you're painting with an anti-static solvent. I looked at Pet Boys and AutoZone for any of this and they didn't really have any so I'm going without it we should be just fine but if you can find some anti-static solvent it would be nice to wipe these things down we're gonna go ahead wipe them down with a tack cloth and then cross that off our list oh wow I see why they're called tack cloths now they got a bit of a thickiness to them I like it so like I said that was my first time using uh, tack cloths they can come in handy in a lot of situations. Let's move forward and scratch off tack cloth because we are done. Now we are at the last three parts. So while the process of the side skirts is continuing on my laptop, I want to explain to you the new camera and the upgrade. Thanks to my friend Chris, he helped me big time and allowed me the opportunity to have a Sony A7S Mark II. And I can't thank him enough for that. So I wanna show you some footage that I worked on. Just a few clips. This is my first time shooting and I am actually really, really impressed with how they came out. You let me know what you think. Let's check it out. These branches are so crispy. Look at the buttery background. This is insane. This feels like I'm shooting a movie. Tego, there's Tego right there. And then just a little shot like that. I don't know, I thought that was cool. These were the first couple shots that, these were the first couple shots that I did. I am so happy to have this type of camera in my arsenal and I can't wait to create more. That being said, I did start another channel right down there in the description. Make sure you go subscribe to that as well. It's going to be my film and photography channel. I'm gonna show you how I film things when I take pictures, which I do that all the time. Make sure you subscribe to that channel as well. Again, thank you so much, Chris. I can't even begin to explain how thankful I am for you to support me that much. And I can't wait to keep having fun and film more videos with you. Every Tuesday we drop a funny fitness video. I love it. His Instagram is down in the description as well. Anyway, back to the side skirts. Let's finish these up, cause they're gonna look nice. First, we need to spray with adhesion promoter. I wanna do two coats. So this is the adhesion promoter I have. It's from Duplicolor. It's called a primer, but it's clear. It's for plastic and acrylic and stuff like that. The reason you're gonna need one of these is because paint and primer doesn't really like to stick to plastic. So this is our first step. Go one, done. Oh, I forgot my mask. Make sure you get your mask. Next coat, I'll have my mask. See? All right, I got my mask. 15 minutes has passed. It's time for the second coat of the clear adhesive primer. Two coats of the adhesion promoter, done. Let's cross that off the list right now. Now that we've sprayed the side skirts with two coats, of the adhesion promoter or the clear primer. The next step is to spray it with regular primer. I got some scratch filler primer. Originally I thought I was gonna have some really deep scratches. If you remember the state it was at yesterday, I thought I was gonna have to fill in some really deep scratches. So that's why I got the scratch filler primer, but it, either way, this is primer. We're gonna shake it up. We're gonna do two to three coats of this stuff. So let's get started. This is what my first coat looks like. It might look uneven, and that's because it is. It's, it's just the first coat of primer. It's a very light coat. You don't need to coat the thing fully. If it's a little uneven in some parts, it's fine. Just keep going with light coats. It will come out looking great. Shh. 
Let's go scratch off our list. Primer. Primer is done. It's been about one hour since the third and last coat of primer was applied to the side skirts. They look pretty good. We are in the final step. I have my black paint here. I'm using Duplicolor's Perfect Match. This says duplicates original Toyota colors. Now, I don't have a Toyota. I have a Subaru. They did not have the paint that duplicates Subaru colors. So, I went with Toyota. I'm not too worried about this. If the color's off or anything, I'm gonna be wrapping the car either way. I just want the paint job to be nice. Let's put our mask on and let's start painting. It just started raining. That will not be good for the paint process. But, I'm gonna press forward. I should not have pressed forward. I shouldn't even have painted that day. But, we still do the right thing in the end. Check it out. So I kind of forget where I left off, but yesterday, I kept laying down a bunch of coats of paint and the coverage was not ideal. I was spraying, I was doing light coats, but I painted, oh God, that's a huge spider web, holy shit. So I, I've painted things before and my light coats would add up. I, I just know that. But the paint wasn't sticking and I kept like rubbing my hands on it afterwards when it would dry and it would, it was like really dusty and it would come off. It would be all over my hands. So I'm thinking that had something to do with the humidity. It was really humid out and I heard that that's probably bad. So don't do that. Do not paint if there's high humidity. There was about a 77% relative humidity around where I was when I was painting. And then yesterday, I painted and there was like a 40% relative humidity. And the paint was laying on there nice. Check this out. 10 times better. There's act It actually looks black now. I'm gonna put one more coat because there's just a little bit of unevenness. Let me do one more coat. Uh, it seems like I prematurely ripped out the uh, checklist. So, crossing that out, but we're gonna add clear coat. Add clear coat in the chicken scratch, let's go get this done. There's a lot of lint and dust on these things. So I got another tack cloth, these things are awesome. And I'm gonna wipe them both down, then we're gonna get this clear coat going. Clear coat that I got is actually the Duplicolor Perfect Match Clear Coat. This should be the best one, because I used Duplicolor for the actual side skirts. The clear coat went on. I needed a bit more than I thought I did. I actually ended up getting two cans of clear coat. I used a couple rattle cans of primer, of spray paint, of clear coat. Right now I'm looking at the final product. Now, I'm pretty sure the color match isn't 100%, which we knew. I told you I'm matching with a Toyota and I have a Subaru, but I am very happy with how these things came out. So they're super dark. When you take them out in the sun, they glisten. There's a bit of a metallic shine to them. I didn't paint the bottom, so you can see what color they were, and you can see how dark they are. And they got a bit of a shine to them too, so I'm, I'm very happy with that because you can see the shine. Yes, there's some orange peel. I'm not a professional by any means, but there are so many videos showing you how to remove the orange peel. It's just an extra step in the process that you could easily do. Me, I'm all right with it. I can't wait to install them in the next video. Next week, I'm going to be drilling into my car. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Make sure to leave a like and comment if I helped you and comment if I didn't help you. Let me know. Either way, stay tuned till next week, guys. Peace. Make sure you guys check out my other Subaru modification videos. They're right over here. Also, make sure to subscribe and stay up to date on my next Subaru modification videos. Too bad.